Samantha. Thanks for sending your question. Um, I'm having a little trouble understanding with whether this is supposed to be an 84x squared or this is problem number 84 and this is the problem. Um, I'm assuming that this is the problem number and that it's not part of the problem. Um, something else I'm also a little confused about is your instructions say determine whether each binomial is the difference of two squares. Um, the problem that you sent, this is not a binomial. This is a trinomial. It has three terms. Binomials have two terms. We could technically turn it into a binomial by completing the square. So I'm going to assume that that's what you mean. Um, and that's what the problem intends us to do. I am not sure. Um, if it's not, go ahead and send your question back and um, help me understand how to better answer your question. So let's go ahead and complete the square to turn this into a difference of squares because we can do that. Um, so what we're going to do to complete the square, step number one is we're going to make room for plus something. So I'm going to have 84 minus 8x plus something, and then my number's just kind of hanging out over here. Um, so the second step is we're going to add plus something. The plus something that we're going to be adding, plus something, is equal to b over 2 squared. What I mean by that? is if we have an equation of the type ax squared plus bx plus c, which we do up here, um, we're going to be plucking off the term in front of x, dividing it by 2, and squaring that whole term there. So b over 2 squared in this case would be negative 8. We've got to count that negative divided by 2, and we're going to square that. That turns into negative 4 squared, which is 16. So I'm adding 16 for my plus something. The next thing I have to do is subtract plus something to balance the equation. I can't just go adding terms to um, an equation where it's convenient. But what I can do is add plus 16 over here and subtract it over, over here. So the scales balance out, basically. Um, I'm really not changing the equation at all. And step number four and the last step we have is to simplify. What I have right here is a perfect square. Eight, um, x squared minus 8x plus 16 is x minus 4 squared, and then 9 minus 16 turns into negative 7. So technically, um, what we really have going on here is x minus 4 squared minus the square root of 7 squared. Um, so you can turn almost anything quadratic equation into a difference of squares. So in that sense, we do have a difference of squares, um, but if we are just taking the question at face value, this is not a binomial, therefore um, the binomial is not a difference of squares because it's a trinomial. So thanks again for sending your question, Samantha, and I look forward to answering more of your question using SnapMath in the future.